Rebecca Cole for How Dini, and we're going to make an absolutely gorgeous, elegant table arrangement. The first thing we want to do is think of the candles because I don't think there's anything that says elegance more than candles. And Of all the different kinds of candles we can have in the world, probably the most elegant is a taper candle, which is this. So we have to find some beautiful candlesticks. I like a mix and match. These absolutely gorgeous Michael Aron candlesticks I think are terrific. I do like it when they come in different heights because it's nice to play with heights both in the taper candle as well as in the candlesticks. Some of the more the fancier candle makers, like Creative Candles, will come with a little beeswax that's um, you know malleable and sticky. And I, I need to use this for two candles, so I'm going to pull it off, just cut it off, and then stick it into the base, and that's going to form a real sticky, much tighter base that I can now put that candle in and. really push it down and that's not going anywhere. So now let's set the table. We have a big enough table here to comfortably seat six. Um, these are also Michael Aram's. Um, gorgeous uh, dinner plates. I like to, even if you're going to serve elsewhere and bring a plate in, you really need to have the plate at your setting.
you know, a, a plate that has absolute beautiful interest, like this gorgeous leaf. This is going to be our salad plate. Now, with an elegant place setting, we're going to be pretty conscious of how the leaf is set up. It's going to be, you know, all facing, all the stems are facing the same way. A more casual arrangement, I think it would be better to mix and match it. For For an elegant place setting, every course should have its own uh, silver piece, um, teaspoons, uh, you know, dessert forks, salad forks. You don't want to either reuse or be handed it. So that's part of what elegant place setting is, is to have it all set up right now. And basically the easiest way you can remember doing it is that you want to put things in the order of how you're going to use them. So first the napkin always goes on the left side, unless you put it on the plate or in some other way. I think this is a, a very sort of elegant, formal way to do it. The fold of the napkin will go on the outside, so the edges go in 